As we prepare to say goodbye to 2022, KOCO5 is looking back on some of the extreme weather that made its way across the state this year. Now here's a review of some of the top breaking weather stories from the last 12 months. Our winter storm is here. In February, a winter blast blew across Oklahoma, closing schools in the metro for days, disrupting travel. This is definitely the worst I've seen it so far. And canceling flights at Will Rogers World Airport. We're trying to encourage people to stay home if you can. But Oklahomans didn't get much of a break from the snow. You can see the vehicle behind me actually slid off of I-40, hit a concrete culvert near a drainage ditch, and rolled up on its side. As another winter storm hit the state in March. Right now, the only helicopter bringing you these live shots of this snowstorm that's moved into Oklahoma City. At the end of March, KOCO5's weather team was on the scene of a tornado in Kingston. We were watching the storm on TV and we could see the wind pick up outside of my um, outside door and then we heard it and I went to look out the window and saw it hitting the neighbor's house. The storm damaged dozens of properties. The last time that a tornado went through Kingston was back in the early 1990s. Here we are now dealing with a damaging tornado tonight. The tornado left one person dead on the Texas side of Lake Texoma. Created some devastation in this area. We've seen a number of homes that were completely destroyed. Across the state, western Oklahoma saw a wildfire in April near Berlin. Whoa, look at that! Firefighters fought the blaze for days. Look at the flames. They continue to burn. This fire has already scorched miles as it's headed up toward Hammond, Oklahoma, and they are continuing to work very, very diligently to try to get the fire out. <laughs> Flames caused a barn and hay bales to burn, and a car crashed to low visibility from the smoke. In May, tornadoes touched down in Oklahoma throughout the month. Damon, this is a tornado on the ground, and this is in that area that you've been talking about. Making the way across Kingfisher and Noble counties. Oh my goodness, look at this, guys. Oh my goodness. This is a big tornado. Uh, if, if it does not turn, this is going to hit Seminole pretty much head on. The city of Seminole was hit with back to back tornadoes the same week, leaving various levels of damage to nearly every building downtown and destroying homes in the area. I'm just so happy that everyone's safe. We can rebuild this. Amazingly, with all the damage, no injuries were reported. The summer months were brutal with little rainfall, lowering bodies of water like Lake Hefner. You can see how far it has dropped, four feet to be exact, and it's dropping one foot per week. And by October, Oklahoma was the driest the state had been in decades. Just in Oklahoma City alone, we've had 75 grass fires in, in just the last two weeks. And in late fall, snow covered much of western Oklahoma. It was a very wet, it was a heavy snow. The heaviest of the snow fell out across western Oklahoma. As several inches of snow fell on cities like Weatherford and Elk City in November. We come all the way to Weatherford from McAllister, Oklahoma to buy two trucks. And we had no idea it was going to be doing this kind of weather. And 2022 brought us one more tornado. We got to the other side of the basement where there's a little cubby hole and we all got huddled up in that. Destroying a home in Wayne on December 13th.